Hello and welcome back to Yes Sky Gaming. And we're back with another episode of High Q Reaction Commentary here in Season 2. Things are heating up. The boys have qualified into the next round. We had an injury scare. And now I think we're going to watch two of the other top teams play each other to see who faces Karasuno in the next round. So I'm hyped. I used to play volleyball indoors at a high, high level. And this show is doing volleyball justice. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm hyped for this. Let's go. Okay, so we pick up in the second set at 6-8. So it's an early, early in the second set. Okay, so Obai Josai is up by two. And it looks like Obai Josai, I think, won the first set. Oh, Date Tech has a new setter. What? What are they shocked about? What did he do? What, what did he do? He said it. Okay, yeah, what did he do? What are they so shocked about? This new setter, I guess he's a young guy who's pretty good up and comer. So he sets a, a mega high ball? Like a mega, mega high ball. <laughs> Gets absolutely slammed on the mega high ball. Why are they all so shocked? I don't get it. Fudakuchi Senpai. Koganagawa. Okay, these names, there's a lot of names I'm trying to keep up. Okay, I, I don't, I, I don't understand the guy asking for like a middle set, like that that one was too high. Yeah, if it's scraping the rafters, it's way too high. But like a high ball situation gives you time to get set up, take a look, give you time to get a good approach. Like high balls are, are good and very useful. You don't always need to run fast offense, especially when it's a bad pass like that one was. It was a dig situation. So you knew there was only really one person you could set. And so set them the high ball, give them some time, let them go to work. That guy is just being a bit, he's letting, he goes and gets blocked and says, oh, it was too high of a set. Come on, buddy, he went and got blocked. Oh, buddy, rips it right in the net. Right in the net. So they're talking about this guy with yellow hair as being a first year. He's big. Yeah, okay, so the guys with funky hair you know are characters. We're just saying that's his new weapon. He said a high ball the other guy didn't like before. The giant setter. He's got the weirdest hair we've seen so far. Oh, and he said it way too high. <laughs> right to the coach. Oh my gosh, the coach doesn't react, just catches it. Why is... what? What is this reaction all about? Oh, he's going hes going up for a dump. The guy reads it and dumps it right at him completely obviously and gets dug. Perfect to Obai Josai. He comes in, pounds it off Little Barrow, who makes a dig, though. High ball to this guy. Okay, these teams are pretty good. They're in a bit of a rally. Why did he bump set that? You didn't need to. Yeah, okay, I don't know why Kageyama was so shocked there that the wing spiker would do a set. Like, when the setter has to dig it, somebody's got to set it. So... Who's that going to be? I mean, is it going to be the left side, the right side, the middle? Like, each team does it differently, but it has to be somebody, so it, it shouldn't be that surprising. Oh, he sets it back to the setter. Oh, and these guys are on it. They know this guy's good. Put up the iron wall, my boys. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, but they set the setter, so this guy at least has some attacking ability. Oh! Triple block, get out, my guy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Okay, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, that was pretty awesome. So we haven't seen many teams do triple blocks other than when it's like a high ball situation there. But on a scramble play where they set the setter, you don't often go and triple block the other team's setter because you expect them not to be a good hitter. But I guess with this guy, they understand that he's a pretty good setter. But when you when it's a kind of a lower set, a mid set, to get a triple block is hard. So that third guy is often just rushing his ass over there to close and sometimes when you, you're jumping like that you'll crash into your teammates so this happens all the time when i played left side and you're trying to close a block over on the right side for a triple you definitely crash into the guys you just hope the middle guy's bigger than you and can take it oh the both coaches synchronized fist bump hold back he just got a block yes the middle so, okay so he just said it he needs to brace it better yes i mean if the middle's bigger than you you can just bump into him a little bit it's all right the new iron wall Kag Kaganagawa, I think. The names are tough. He jumps it again right to the guy. Like, this, that setter is very obvious, and they dig it up free ball and pound down the middle. Yeah, like, because he's yelling at his first year setter, this guy's way too serious. <laughs> oh, he's telling him when you dump, you don't need to, like, tip it. You can just get up and pound, absolutely. Like, if he's big, go up and get a rip. This guy's going for a rip. He just rips a full ace. Okay, so we're going to be playing O by Josai. Like, it's it's pretty obvious that... I mean, I, I, they're calling it Seijo, but every time it comes up on the thing, it's O by Josai. I don't get that, but whatever. I think they're the same thing. Great dig by that guy's cap, the team captain. 
but he overpassed it. Oh, so the coach asked the libero to help out the baby big setter. Oh, I see, like, like help him out on, like to cover behind the block, I guess. So dig it up high enough for him to go and get a jump toss because he's huge. Like, let him go and get it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I mean, okay, so that's absolutely true. So they, they just kind of breezed over that a little bit. But so because the setter's so big and they have that huge middle guy with the white hair, right? So it becomes a huge weapon if you get a pass up super high and the setter can jump up and reach fully and just touch it. It makes that set way faster because the setter's setting it from a high point to a guy who's reaching at a high point. So it makes that super fast and a little bit easier to set. And if the setter was way shorter and has to set that quick set way higher, it's got a lot more time to travel. So it makes their connection a little bit better when you can jump set and touch it like that. Plus, it's just super cool when you have a big setter, you can get up and just absolutely feast on some of those high sets. Okay, oh boy, Joe size up 23-20 and it's, they're, they're, they're gonna win the game. They, they won the first set, all they need is a few points to win the match. Oh, and he just dumps it down there. Just a fake dump by that guy for 24-20. And this guy's mad, but like the, the match is over, their season's gonna be over. They, they dramatize game points so much and they have this team like dig in to try to fight, but it's like, you still have to come back four points and three of those will at least be on serve. Like, so this is not easy. Like, Oba is just really much in control here. So he pounds it straight down, I guess, off the block. Like, okay, so good side out. You still need to earn three to tie it up at this point, right? So like, you gotta steal three points, either with a block, a dig, something. Okay, easy serve. Like, you can't win if you're gonna just put an easy serve here at the end of the game. You gotta get lucky for them to just make mistakes. Not if they're setting their best guy. Like, it's over. Oh, they got, okay, they got a chance here. At least, chance for one. Nice. Okay, so Buddy just goes up and pounds it. Because the setter said, you don't need to tip it. Just get up and hit it. Who cares? Like, you're big. Open pound. Okay, so 22-24. So you still need to earn two more to tie. It's still match point. So their guy goes to their setter and says, uh, yeah, you know, you, you, you know who you're setting. Okay, can they earn another one and make this interesting? Because if they earn one more, they make it interesting. But now it's not... Oh, they set the middle guy. And Buddy makes a dig. Overpass. Get up and feast, my guy. Oh, the setter's big enough and gets it. Oh, but they dug it again. Damn it. Oh. Yeah, you set your guy. Like, you should have set him the first one instead of middle. This is your guy. Okay, so I love this animation of sliding up the iron wall. It's just hilarious. Okay, so they go triple block on their big guy with the iron wall of these three big dudes. I mean, it's a big block. Absolutely. Oh, and he chirps him in the air, calling his resolve weak, uh, and pounds it right through the guy's open arms for the game. For the game. Yep, right through his open arms for the game. And oh by Josai wins. Yeah, like absolutely. Like go up and hit with confidence and you can beat a triple block. Like absolutely. They're not perfect. Oh, I get it. These are the old third years who they played who like moved on and they're coming back now to give these guys some grief. Absolutely. I do find it hilarious how these characters just like shout out things that they want and they're gonna do. I will be the best setter ever! I will do this! I mean it certainly lets us know what they want. <laughs> See you, big guy. You said you would get Hinata, but you lost before you could get to Hinata. So we're flashing back to the last time we played these guys, and uh, yeah, they beat they beat him. They beat Karasno in a, in a tight, tight game. They even ran that craziest set, back set from way off the net of all time. And Hinata closed his eyes and hit it into the block on a triple block when they somehow saw that coming. Yeah, that was nuts. That was crazy how they did that last time. Oh, Yachi's noticing everyone's on edge. Oh yeah, they gave everything and they still lost. They, they lost to this boys. It's a revenge match. Oh, Yamaguchi's having stomach problems because he's so nervous. He's gonna have to go in and serve at a crucial time. He knows it. Yachi is saying she's confident when she's nervous. She's saying talk about it helps. It's true. It's absolutely true. Like you want to talk about it, face those fears head on. Okay, when we had the last game, the team was in trouble. They subbed you in. Pinch server, first time ever. It was a weird coaching move to do that in such a crucial time. Weren't that far behind yet. Well, it was 1970, so it wasn't like the... If I made it, you might have won. No, like, you were down, it was still tight. Yeah, you, you did blow it. You just floated it right in the net. Like, you, you gotta get it in. For sure. But like, not that big a deal. Oh my gosh, now Yachi, oh my gosh, now she's all nervous. Oh god, that was a bad, it turned out to be a bad exercise, gosh. 
<laughs> okay, so that was just super subtle right there, but it was a super cool moment where Hinata comes up to Kagam and says, Hey, Kagam, are you having your freak out moment as well? Like kind of bugging him and then immediately readies himself for a fight. Because we've seen them like throw punches and stuff at each other before. But then Hinata readies himself, but then Kageyama is just filing his nails, looks up and says, Oikawa is strong, and then just looks back down like, so yes, he's having his freak out mode, but it's very different looking for him because he's not just gonna immediately fight Hinata for that nonsense comment by him. So super subtle storytelling moment there, but really like that. Oh, it's almost time for the game. Let's go, my boys. Get thyselves ready for a fight. Yes! I mean, I can't play any of this, but the music is so sick right now. Let's go, my boys. Copyright claims inbound. All right, guys. Well, that was an interesting episode. We got to look at the other teams, um, seeing some of the things that they do. I mean, that's one of the first times we've actually seen the other teams kind of play and follow their game in depth, I guess, because we have a history with both of those teams. So that's kind of nice, actually. Like, I see where all the setup in previous episodes is kind of paying off as you know these players, you know what they're all about. And then to see them go to head hit, head dead was kind of cool, but I would have liked to get into that more and have that maybe be a lot tighter of a battle. Like, yeah, I mean, I think at that last point it would have been super dramatic if they had got up to 24-24 or 23-24 where that last point actually was tight, but they won it kind of before that and the guys like pounded down through the young kid's block. It's like, okay, kind of like, whatever. Like, it wasn't that dramatic, I guess, because they still had a two-point lead, but anyways, uh, it was good to see that and I'm looking forward to the revenge match. That definitely should be good. Um, so I'm hyped for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you next time on Hits Guy Gaming.